G'day guys, Wayne Weatherall, Kakata Spur. I'm going to give you 12 red hot tips to get across this track. Number one, preparation. Preparation and preparation. Kakoda is nearly 100 kilometers. 6,000 meters of ups and 6,000 meters of downs. So, you cannot do enough hill training. So tip number one with preparation, train on hills, hills and more hills. If you can't find hills, find yourself some stairs. If you can't find yourself some stairs, then you need to do some running, you need to do lunges, you need to do swimming, you need to do bike riding. But preparation for Kokoda is absolute paramount. You cannot do enough preparation for Kokoda. You don't need to be an Olympian. You don't need to be an ultra marathon runner, but you do need to prepare. The more you prepare for Kokoda, the more successful, the more fun, and the more you're gonna enjoy this remarkable journey. Tip number two, keep it simple. We've all heard that saying, keep it simple, but Kokoda really is a matter of breaking it down into small, bite-sized pieces. We walk from breakfast to morning tea, from morning tea to lunch and lunch to camp. Kokoda, whilst there's lots of big hills in the way, they are truly only a series of small hills on top of each other. Mind you, lots of hills on top of each other, but keep it simple. One bit of the hill at a time. Small steps, don't take big lunges, take small steps as you go slowly, slowly up the hills here. Really important to try and keep your heart rate at a nice, constant level. If you find your heart rate racing, slow yourself down a little bit. Stop and take photos. Don't get caught up in peer pressure or walking too fast across the track. Walk at your own pace. Tip number three. Whilst Kokoda Spirit is going to feed you with big breakfasts, great lunches, and energy carving dinners, it's really important that you graze with a good track mix of nuts or dried fruit or snakes or lollies as you go across the track. It's to avoid the dreaded sugar lows. So as you're walking, just continue to nibble and take small pieces of your trail mix as you walk. It will prevent you from running out of energy. Tip number four, fluid intake. Fluid is absolutely critical to your success on the track. You need to drink water before you feel the need for water. Each and every one of us has our own requirements for fluids, but we need to avoid hyponatremia and we need to avoid dehydration. Hyponatremia is excess amounts of water, which causes the sodium levels of our bodies to be out of whack and can cause real, real issues for us. Dehydration can also cause massive issues for us on the track. So fluid intake is very, very important. And the fact that we also need to be making sure that we hydrate our bodies properly with correct amounts of electrolytes. I, for example, will use something like an Endura, Staminate or a Gatorade formula in a water bottle. I don't put it in my water bladder, I keep my water bladder pristine and only use a water bottle so I know exactly how much electrolytes I'm putting into my system. Tip number five, foot care. Really critical, you're in your boots all day. So make sure that a, your boots are a little bit larger than what you normally get, a good half size bigger to stop your boots from uh, jamming your toes as you're going downhill like that. It's important to keep your feet dry. I know it's difficult sometimes if you're walking through mud and, and wet areas along the trail there, but when you get to camp, very important to dry your feet and use a powder to make sure that you don't end up with a dreaded foot rot. When we cross rivers, we change out of our boots and we go into adventure style sandals or you can use an old pair of runners to go across the track. But with your foot care to avoid blisters, an old wise tail, an old sicker that we use on the track is just put a light smear of Vaseline around the bottom of your feet or you can use poor poor cream as well. 
Tip number six, peer pressure. You know, you're going to be walking in a group and you may be there with a bunch of mates or you may be an individual um, walking in a, in, a, in a group environment there. You know, our, our tracks are designed with a trek leader at the front and a trek master at the back. The track speed is designed to get everyone into camp at a reasonable time in the afternoon. There is no need to feel the pressure to have to keep up with a mate or with the group. You're never going to lose contact with the group. You're never going to get lost. You're never going to get separated. So take your time. Each and every one of us has good and bad days on the track. So if you're not having such a good day, slow yourself down and give yourself two minute breaks as you're walking along the track bed. Tip number seven. You might find this one hard to believe, but Kokoda is really hot and really humid. So it's really important how you dress. You know, don't overdress on the track. It's not a fashion parade, although some people do like to uh, get dressed up in, uh, in, in, in fancy hiking gear. But for myself, I walk in a pair of shorts and a cool dry shirt. The reason being um, to try and avoid my body from overheating and, and getting too hot as I long, go along the track. You will sweat like you've never sweated before. So going back to one of those tips, making sure you stay hydrated, but making sure that we don't overheat on the track. Stop, cool yourself down with water. There's plenty of streams along the track and make sure you don't overdress. Tip number eight, there's plenty of insects on the track there. Really important, if you're not wearing long sleeve clothes or long trousers, is that you use a reputable insect repellent and, uh, and make sure it's of a high level deep concentrate. Uh, there are plenty of mosquitoes in parts of the track and it's really, really important that we make sure that we avoid um, getting bitten by these nasty little insects. And there's plenty of bees on the track. So if you're allergic to bees, you really need to make sure that you bring your, your um, medications necessary to, uh, to fix any issues that you may have. Tip number nine, hygiene. Really important that uh, you maintain good if not excellent hygiene on the track. You need to be using a hand gel every time before you eat, every time you shake someone's hand, every time you, you touch a tree. It's really important. There's lots of germs everywhere. So before you eat, make sure you keep yourself um, clean. Before we eat, all our plates are washed, all our utensils are washed in hot water. Really, really critical to not only your health, but the health of everyone in this group that we maintain really, really good hygiene. So make sure you get a dozen or so, or as many as you need, of little hand gels to make sure you're constantly clean and hygienic. Tip number 10, just make sure you're medically fit to travel and to track Kokoda. And really important that you go and see a travel doctor, a travel professional who knows what requirements for immunization and medications are necessary for someone like PNG in the Kikata Trail? Number 11, wear your boots on the plane and put your essential medicines and requirements in your carry on bag. Bags do go missing, and if you've got your gear with you, your essential items with you, you're going to be able to trek. And the big tip, number 12. Relax and enjoy your journey. PNG is a developing nation. Things don't always go to plan. We sometimes operate on island time. So kick back, enjoy, and let the magic of Kokoda consume you.